friends, and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be testing out questionable beauty hacks from Instagram videos. Now, we've previously tested out some strange hacks from Facebook videos with mediocre success, and since then, pretty much all I've been seeing on my Instagram Explore page are similar beauty hack videos. They seem to think that I'm a hacker, that I like hacks, or that I am a hack. So I've decided to take these referrals as a sign that I should dive back in and put these videos to the test. Instagram has a lot of beauty videos in general, which are often speckled or arranged into playlists on the Explore page, or freebooted from individual creators and reposted by big makeup accounts. And by design, you can churn through like dozens of these videos at a time. I mean, look at those thumbnails. Don't you wanna click on those? Is that James Charles? Almost all of these videos are sped up, have little to no talking, and oh yeah, Instagram also doesn't have a progress bar, so you can't skip around or rewind. In addition, I find that Instagram videos are more prone to true clickbaiting than Facebook videos. You'll get some classic thumbnails like this one with a giant red vampire eye, but then when you click into the video, it's just a normal eyeshadow tutorial. But some of these videos are just clickbaity in that they use a ridiculous seeming method in order to get an enticing thumbnail. Whether or not that method helps you do anything faster or better or anything at all, and those are the videos we're gonna be mostly focusing on today. As much as I would like to try out permanent retina damage. All right, so let's dive right into these. The first hack is certainly beauty related, but it's not for your face. It is in fact, for the pits. That's right, your armpits, that's what I mean. It's an armpit beauty hack. All right, so this video was reposted by Makeup Vines, but it's originally by Sarah Revuelta. The comments are pretty harsh. There are a lot of like nauseous green emojis. And um, one girl says, TBH, I threw up. So basically what happens is Sarah wakes up and oh no, she has armpits. She doesn't want you to see them. So she's gonna cover them with honey, oats, and baking soda. I think actually the premise is that she has like dark skin on her underarms or something because she certainly doesn't have any hair. Interestingly enough, DIY armpit lightning masks are kind of a motif throughout a lot of Instagram hack videos. I feel like it's kind of like bleaching your b-hole. It's like a little unnecessary, but if you really want to, I guess you can. So she puts her DIY mixture like on her armpits and then she sits with it for a while to let it do its good stuff. She doesn't say how long you should leave it on for. Oh, all right. So maybe she means 10 minutes because as she's leaning back, she just goes, 10. <laughs> but after some amount of time, she scoops the oatmeal off and uh, feeds it to her boyfriend. I am so happy and yet also sad for Tyler that that occurred because now he has to eat my armpit oatmeal. What? You shower today, right? Yes, I shower every day. I'm not convinced. And I smell very good always. That's a lie. <laughs> All right, the first thing she does is honey. And it doesn't look like she has like very specific proportions. She just kind of has like a big old spoon and just puts in a big old spoon. As for the oats, she kind of does like one heaping tablespoon. So I'm gonna do like a couple of these. There we go. And for the baking soda, she kind of just does like a little less. All right, so her next step is that she mixes it together. And right off the bat, it's pretty dry. I think I might need a little more honey. How am I so bad at this? I will say it just seems like she just sort of did a couple of swipes and then it was like a nice sort of wet mixture. All right, ready for the application? Oh, that's nasty, dude. Is this what I'm supposed to do? This feels like the worst, like sexy role playing thing ever. It's like a Cosmo tip. It's like spice it up by bringing food into the bedroom. Yeah, it's like oats, honey, and baking soda in your pits. I will say it smells kind of good though. All right, I'm like a little bit unsure of how to do this with my other armpit full of oatmeal already. Oh, I need help. It I can't really, do this with my left hand. It really doesn't spread, does it? Oh no, spread it down. No, no, down, not out. Dude. I'll hold the camera. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh God, I just dropped a no. huge chunk. No, not out, Th tie it up and down. Well, I think we have different definitions of armpit here. All right, here we go. After some struggle, both my armpits are oated. My arms are gonna get tired. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since I put on the right armpits oatmeal and the Oatmeal has definitely warmed up. In fact, it's turned kind of like whitish and creamy, almost as if it's cooked or perhaps like reacted somehow with the baking soda. She basically just like scrapes it off with the spoon and then immediately tricks her boyfriend into eating it. All right, Ty, are you ready? I got a spoonful of oatmeal for you. Why the f am I doing this? <laughs> oh, that's not food, is it? Is it really that bad? <laughs> Ew, you just drooled all over me. It's very salty. It's salty? You think that's my sweat? Ah. 
All right, so after wiping off our oatmeal mask completely, I'm not sure that my armpits are any lighter. It kind of feels like maybe they were just exfoliated a little nicely. I did really have to kind of scrub those oats off. And taking a look at her after armpits, they look pretty much the same. But in terms of the execution of this hack, I just got oats all over this floor and my shirt, and I might have poisoned Tyler. So I think that you know, you could probably just use like a body scrub on your armpits and save yourself a lot of mess. All right, so for our second hack, we're gonna go in for another lightening treatment, except this time, instead of being for your underarms, it's for your under eyes. So this is a video by Medina Shrianzada. She basically sort of pops up and she has like very exaggerated dark circles. They look pretty fake, like maybe she just put like a lot of eyeshadow underneath her eye and then she skins and cuts up a potato, puts some honey and black pepper on the slices, and puts them under her eye for five minutes. And then when she lifts them off of her eyes, the dark circles are gone, as well as the eyeshadow. Now it does say further down into her caption that she's mimicked dark circles, but it's pretty far down, and I think people in the comments aren't really having it. So with that, Let's try it. This is coincidentally a great time to try and test this hack because I was up till 6 a.m. last night and I have a whole under eye suitcase situation going on. Okay, so the first step is to peel the potato. Do you know how to peel a potato? No, I'm not very good at this. Can I just slice off the, the, the peel? This is much better. I got it to be sort of like a geometric gemstone by just peeling it with a knife. All right, so basically she just sort of cuts off like little sections that would cover her under eye area. And then next she just puts a a little bit of honey on him and then she goes like this. So then the next thing she does is she just sprinkles some black pepper on and then applies it to her eyes. Cheers. Okay. Well, this isn't so bad. I will say that right off the bat, the potato's kind of cold, so I'm feeling some refreshment. So that's probably actually good for your under eye circles. Move over, cucumber slice. Potato is coming for your wig. I'm not feeling any sneeziness or eye pain because of the pepper as of yet. The pepper is more just like texture. It's like I feel like a piece wedged in between the potato and me. All right, so in five minutes, let's take these bad boys off and see if my under eye circles have packed their bags and left. Are you ready? for my princess diaries reveal. Well, you don't have a unibrow, so. I do have a unibrow, I just plucked it. Ta-da! Oh, I look like I was just crying coffee grounds. Oh, actually, now that I've lifted the potato up, I'm actually feeling the tingling from the black pepper and like almost a little spice. Oh, oh, it's hot. Oh, this is odd. I feel like I have like a Ben Gay patch underneath my eyes. You know what I mean? Like a salon pass. I think that maybe some of the logic behind this hack is that the pepper will like stimulate blood flow, but my under eyes just kind of hurt and I don't think they look much better. Now she said this was her under eye routine. So maybe like one time isn't enough, but that is a lot of work and pain for maybe. So I've put on some foundation because the next hack is a makeup hack. So this account Dramatize freebooted and reposted this video from Promise to Mang. They gave her some credit, but you definitely had to click read more to see it. So the thing that stuck out to me about this hack is that it's basically like a surprise double hack. From the thumbnail, it looks like she's using tweezers to somehow contour her nose. And when you click in, she's actually using the tweezers to draw in her eyebrows. After she completely does her eyebrows, at the very end, she does her nose kind of quickly. So it was kind of like an emotional roller coaster. I thought I had been clickbaited, and then right at the end, I was saved. All right, so I think what she does is she just like takes the eyebrow gel and like paints the ends of her tweezer with it. She has thinner eyebrows than I do, so I worry that my eyebrows may not be contained by these tweezers. As she gets to the back, she closes the tweezer. Did that do anything? I feel like I just got a little bit of eyebrow gel in the head of my brow right here. I do have slightly wider tweezers that maybe would work better. So let's try those. That didn't do much. I'm gonna try more of a palm made than a gel just to, you know, give it more of an impact. Oh, that's darker. That's better. And then narrow it, narrow it. Oh, I skid marked. All right, let me try the other side and then we'll try and fill them in. Oh no. Oh no, left hand, no good. The thing is, it's not decidedly worse than the other one, but neither are really great. You look like an angry bird right now. I feel like an angry bird right now. I feel like I'm getting the intent of the hack, but my artistic abilities are not really up to snuff. So let's try out the nose contour. Maybe I'll be better at that since there's less like drawing involved. All right, ready? Oh. 
think I did that well with this one either. I think that this hack easily goes skid mark. It takes the skid mark exit nearly every time. I don't know what kind of brush she's using, so I'm just gonna use this brush and just try and buff it out. Buff it out. What, 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 buff it out. I will admit that I don't do nose contouring very often. This side looks okay. And then you come over to this side and it's just sad. Now though, compared to my nose contour, my eyebrows are looking great. So I'm happy about that at least. I think if you have the right features that fit inside of like a normal sized tweezer, maybe this might actually work for you. But besides that, I do think it's a little more trouble than it's worth. Okay, so the next hack is another makeup hack, and I actually recognize the company that's made it. It's Christine's favorite channel, Troom Troom. Gotta get that Troom Troom views. So this video was reposted by DIY Amazing DIY, but I think something got lost in translation because the video doesn't really make a lot of sense. Early on in the video, they introduced the hack, which is like using a spoon over your eye to like create like an eyeshadow look. And then they sort of like put clip in extensions in their hair, apply some eyeliner, and then are like told by a third person to only use one hand. And then by the end of the video, they've given up on doing their makeup entirely. None of that is explained or captioned. It's just if you keep watching the video after the hack, you'll notice that there's a lot more video and it doesn't make any sense. Okay, and with that, let's try it. All right, I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a base shade on. I don't really know what else this girl does. She just kind of puts a spoon on her eye and then goes to town. Though to be fair, she kind of does like this sort of crease action and then moves on to do something off camera. And when she comes back, her eyeshadow looks a lot better. So there's definitely some movie magic involved. All right, I've got a couple different spoons. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's flatter. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this brick color and go in. Oh, that's moving my contact around. I can feel that. Oh, this is hard to do with one eye. Oh, that's gonna be a good cut crease. Hers doesn't end up being a cut crease. It just sort of ends up being like a dramatic crease look. I'll get my contacts back. Ta-da! I think that over here, we are seeing something that could be like an eyeshadow look, but in general, it's not very symmetric or even. Let me try the other spoon on the other eye. I think this one's a little more rounded, so hopefully it'll be a little more flush to my eyeball. Oh, you know what? That looks pretty good. The thing is, for a starting point for eyeshadow, like you could start from here and then just like keep blending it out. I'm just not sure that using a spoon is easier than just like putting the product straight onto your eye. Just to be fair to Troom Troom, I'm gonna blend this out a little bit you know, just to make it like more of a look. In general, this video just confuses me. I think it's almost like a game of like bad beauty hack telephone, but that seems to be a big part of Instagram videos in general. A lot of them are stolen and chopped up. I guess that might contribute to why they're so confusing. Originally, I had suspected that this was multiple Troom Troom videos cut together, but amazingly, all of the footage is actually just from one video called Makeup Challenge, Full Face Using Food and School supplies. I guess these weren't meant to be hacks after all. Okay, so this last hack is a hair hack that I'm very excited about. So this video was posted by a page called Makeup Vines, but it was freebooted from 5 Minute Crafts. So basically what it is, you put a scrunchie on like the nozzle of a vacuum cleaner, and then you vacuum up your hair, put the scrunchie on, and voila, ponytail. This hack in particular, I remember seeing in like a viral video from a few years ago about like a dis gruntled dad trying to do his daughter's hair. So Tyler will have the honor of vacuuming my head today. So basically it's me testing this hack. Yes, but it's my head on the line. Without further ado, ah! let's vacuum some hair. Are you ready for an instant ponytail? No! Ah! It keeps getting your shirt. Ah! Ah! Ready? Ah! Did it work? Is that what they want us to do? You know, that tickled. The sound was absolutely terrifying, but the sensation was quite nice. Yes. Try it again. So I'm gonna double it up this time because I think it was a little loose. Woo! Woo! Hey, that wasn't so bad. I have a complete <laughs> chunk of hair that's missing, but that's artful, I guess. Yeah, you look like a spunky, like, Zoo Disney character right now. So let me try it one more time. It's still a little messy. Dude, you got so much hair. Oh, here we go, here we go. 
There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's a ponytail. It's not perfect, but it's close. The level of perfection from 5 Minute Crafts is pretty mind blowing, because there's like stray hairs everywhere. It's not so bad. I'm surprised that it worked even as well as it did. A major con to this though, is that the inside of a vacuum sees some stuff, and you probably don't want that stuff on your head. Besides that, I'm not sure it's faster than just doing a normal ponytail yourself, but it's definitely more exciting. So viral video, yes. Hack that you recommend to people, I don't think so. This could be kind of a good prank though. Get out of here! <laughs> hey, let me help you but like give you a slightly messy ponytail, haha. <laughs> okay, so those were my questionable Instagram hacks. I'm not sure I really got the hang of any of these hacks, but I think the one that was the closest to a hack that might actually work was the tweezer one. The other ones may have had some effect, but I don't think the results were worth the trouble, pain, or mess, so I wouldn't consider them better than traditional methods. I think my main takeaway from this is that the reason why Instagram has so many hacks like these which are so ridiculous in nature, is that the video posters or reposters are working within the confines of Instagram, where you only really get a thumbnail to work with. There aren't any visible video titles on Instagram, and you can only see the caption after you've clicked it. So you kind of have to make a video that will lend itself to having a crazy thumbnail, and if you don't, well, then you just have to make up a thumbnail. To be fair, these videos can be pretty entertaining, so if they were marketed more as things you should watch, rather than things you should do, they'd be a lot less perplexing. I would just also say to Instagram, please add a progress bar. And to you all at home, maybe don't put black pepper under your eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next feat. I vlog on there every Sunday. A big shout out to Respect the Beck for watching. Thanks for watching. Respect the Beck, and I will see you guys a next time.